Hello, my name is Adam Ball. I'm the General Manager of Submarine Networks World, and I'm delighted to present to you the next presentation, which is Changes in Subsea Cables, an industry driven by fusion of clouds and networks. Today's presenter is Donald Tan, CEO of China Telecom Global, and very well known with us here at Submarine Networks World. And I'll now hand you over to Donald. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for your invitation. Good, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, SNW 2021 invite me to have a speech here. And I would like to uh, thank you for joining me and the China Telecom today. And I hope everyone is safe and uh, healthy. During the past two years, the pandemic has profoundly changed how we live and work in a short period of time, it also reshaped the telecom industry with the fusion of clouds and the networks. That is what I would like to uh, share with you and highlight you today. In this session, I will take you through the latest trends we have observed in the subsea cable industry. And I will talk about how China Telecom is helping our customers to uh, unlock opportunities in the digital age. So first, I'd like to take a look at what is happening in this uh, industry. So always we are ask one question. For enterprises, what are the enterprises looking for? As everyone knows, the pandemic is pushing up the agenda of business resilience very new challenges have emerged due to the distributed workforces and resources. This forced enterprises to change their operational models and uh, accommodate the new business needs. According to our media IDC report, 75% of enterprises prioritize infrastructure, agility, and operational efficiency by 2024. To thrive in this new age, enterprises allow looking for agility, flexibility, and the more and uh, the better digital experience, the higher speed, and the more security. To achieve these uh, goals, enterprises have to uh, rely on robust digital transformation, digital infrastructures to optimize customer experience, reach the market faster, and safeguard the digital journey. Particularly in the ICT industry, we are seeing top trends that are shaping the future of the business. First of all, one of the hottest topics, of course, is 5G. By 2025, it is uh, predicted that 5G connections will reach 3 billion globally. This means the connection will become faster and more seamless in the near future. Of course, IoT is another new frontier. By 2025, there will be over 55.7 billion connected devices worldwide. The data generated from the connected IoT devices will reach 73.1 zettabit by 2025, growing from 18.3 zettabit in 2019. To support IoT devices, the more stable and the secure connections are required for data transmission. The third one, we also see increasing demands for more flexible connections. The global SDM market size is expected to grow from US dollar 13.7 billion in 2020 to 32.7 billion US dollars by 2025. Without any doubt, business are now, now looking for more flexible and uh, agile IT solutions. When businesses are rebuilt, the digital infrastructure, the cloud has become one of the key enablers. This uh, has led to the growing demands for the cloud in recent years. The first one, I think, for the migration to cloud, this is obviously a trend in the industry. Today, 81% of the enterprises 
have at least one application running in the cloud. Moreover, global public cloud spending is forecast to reach over 332.3 billion US dollars in 2021. And this represents a growth of 23% from 270 billion in 2020. And the enterprises are now are not only becoming more reliant on the cloud, they also become smarter and more cautious when it comes to cloud adoption. By 2022, more than 90% of enterprises will rely on a mix of own premises, multiple public clouds and the legacy platforms environments. This will enable business to enjoy the best services from different providers and become more agile to operate. However, it means that IT environments have become increasingly complex with more parties involved. Fast connectivity and the secure interoperability are key to support and safeguard business digital journey. And demands for seamless and robust connections continue to drive investments in subsea cables. According to Pillar Geography, there will be more than 1.3 million kilometers of submarine cable spanning the globe. That means to uh, wrap up around Earth more than 30 times end to end. The total investment in the industry will also reach 8 billion US dollars over the next three years. When we take a close look at the subsea cable industry, we see the industry keeps innovating to keep up with the ever-changing market needs. Here are some key trends that we have observed. The first one is the 400 gigabit technology, DWDM technology has begun to deploy in the non-haul subsea systems. Firstly, with the emergency of the 400 optical technology, the industry will simplify network design. They can also optimize operations with more affordable solutions. Secondly, the next generation transoceanic cables will contain 32 fiber pairs. And this represents a 100% efficiency improvement when we compare it with 16 fiber pairs. This development will enable cable owners worldwide to construct subsea cable systems from TB to PB traffic capacity. More importantly, it will also help them to reduce the costs. The third one, the cloud platforms have a large influence in determine where cable landed. You know, for example, the new transatlantic cable systems now land in places like the west coast of the Ireland or Denmark. We observe that more new routes are landed at the higher uh, hyperscale, the pubs, data centers, cloud regions. This is close to uh, where hyperscale data centers campuses have been springing up in the recent years. Also in this industry, due to the complex geopolitical and data sovereign concerns, the poor policies and the regulations are becoming more complex in subsea cable industry. And the industry is now redefining the open cable system. And this way, I now like old cable operator to select the best of breed transponders to uh, operate over a given fiber pair. All of these trends are transforming the whole industry and support the critical connectivity for tomorrow. And we talk about, and we talk about the North of the trains happening in the industry. Having said that, one thing remains unchanged. 
despite the fast changing landscape. That is connectivity still sits at the core of everything. In the post pandemic era, enterprises have to reimage their IT architectures to move fast and connect seamlessly. This requires enterprises to take a new approach with the new mindset. And ecosystems will be key for future growth. Enterprises need to take a, it into a consideration when they are doing the planning. And enterprises also have to break down IT signals. They can no longer plan for one IT component each time. Now it's more critical than ever to take a holistic approach to design the whole IT system, make it integrate platform. This will enable the enterprises to uh, get a competitive edge and then navigate the ever-changing environment. So we talk about China Telecom and how China Telecom doing in this um, network and cloud integration industry. China Telecom has been decided to uh, advancing connectivity infrastructure across different continents and uh, empowering enterprises with network and cloud integration in view of the market changes. We are proud that we are taking the lead in this market. And then let me show more details with you. So in this slide, I'll show you um, our strategy for the whole uh, China Telecom. The name is the uh, qualification and the digital transformation strategy. As one of the world's largest ICT providers, China Telecom has invested heavily in building stable and a secure network across the globe. But however, we never said in expanding networks only, we see the future is digital. So we uphold the cloudification and the digital transformation strategy to transform the future with our comprehensive capabilities. This is range from the network, the cloud, the data centers, and all the DIC offerings. It enables us to deliver bespoke and high quality network solutions based on customer's requirement. The incentives of the strategy is to be customer oriented. There are several key elements, for example, for the science technology innovation, and the structure and the mechanic reform and the ecological cooperation is the ecosystem building and the cloud network integration, the network information security and digitalized platform is the hub. So we keep up with the ever-changing customer needs to provide the next generation of network and cloud services. Enterprises with rapid global expansion strategies can count on China Telecom to ensure the network backbone, the need with agility and the flexibility, but also enhance our services with security supporting and digital platforms to protect users' networks against threats and risks. By integrating networks with cloud capabilities, we are confident to we are confident to help uh, enterprises enjoy seamless, smart, and a secure connectivity at anywhere and any time. This has shown you our solid infrastructure in China, especially integrated with cloud for smart network. China Telecom has strengths, research, testing, and the deployment of key technologies in cloud computing, big data, and AI, and accelerated the integration of cloud and network with the aim to build a more intelligent network. Our strong capabilities in network and cloud are backed by our solid infrastructures ex and extensive experience in China currently. And we have set a robust foundation with the extensive cloud nodes that include two core nodes and four regional nodes, 31 provisional nodes, Asian nodes and overseas nodes. 
with years of the dedication and hard working, we have become the number one hybrid cloud service provider in China, and become the number one telecom cloud operators in the world, and number three of the public cloud service provider in China, number seven public cloud service provider in the world. In addition, we have also made progressive 5G network construction in China. As a leader of the 5G service provider, we have already built 380,000 plus 5G base stations, and this generate 86 million plus sub 5G package subscribers. And in the first half of this year, we have generated 5G use cases in the different vertical industry that can include the finance, education, energy, retail, campus, logistics, etc. And the doubled as compared with the 2020. So this is uh, one of the capability in mainland China. And this encouraging result driven by our cloud network integration strategy. And we are glad that China Telecom's commitments have started to bear the fruits. And then looking beyond China, we have also built an extensive network system to connect the world. Today, we have participated in building 47 subsea cable systems and, we'll de and it's delivering a total in the national capacity of more than 74 gigabit. And together we saw where 220 pubs and 30 plus cloud nodes and uh, dedicated 700 plus IDC just mainly in China, in, in mainland China. And this will enable us to uh, connect reliably and securely to partners and customers while a robust ecosystem and eventually unlock new business opportunities for our customer. And what makes China Telecom further stands out with our competitors in the market? I think it's our cross-border test cable systems. They complement our extensive subsea cable systems and provide redundancy to enterprises when they seek a cost effective solutions to ensure mission critical transmission. As this map, you can show, uh, show you the Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Nepal, Russia, Mongolia, Vietnam, Naros, Mima, Pakistan cable system will have been built to have the redundancy, have the very effective route with, uh, to our customers. And uh, we have connected with the operators from the neighboring countries and regions have been innovating to keep up with the market needs. And we have over five subsea routes to uh, connect major hyperscale cloud regions globally. And this include self-built subsea cables and the area purchases. So taking a closer look, we have resources in almost all existing service cables in Asia, such as APCN2, SJC, APG, SCRA, etc. And while into uh, from Asia to the to into Europe, you can see we have the capacity, the SMU3, SMU4, SMU5, A1, and the EIG plus uh, BBG and FEA. And for the another main routes from Asia to uh, the United States, we have built NCP, Japan, US, TPE first, and use the capacity unity, PC1, TGN, Jupiter. So this is exactly this kind of the different routes to uh, keep our customer stable and the resilience. And this slides show you the expanding networks and the ultra faster connectivity. China Telecom has been dedicated in connecting uh, business with uh, any place for new possibilities. Through the expanding subsea and the test cable systems, we are committed to connecting business with new places and new partners. Particularly among all the regions, we see fast growing demands and opportunities in the build and the road initial markets. Accordingly, we have been actively participating in the new construction of cable system in the region, providing business with the connectivity to power their digital success. Two of our major 
achievements include the ADC, that means the Asia Direct Cable, and the CAOT, the China North Thailand system. The ADC will connect maritime Silk Road countries such as China, Japan, Thailand, Singapore, Philippines, and Vietnam. And it will carry over 140 gigabits of traffic to help enterprises enjoy seamless connections in this region. The project is expected to be completed by the end of next year. Our CLT system connects Yunnan province to Thailand through Laos and extended to other Mekong countries, Malaysia, Singapore, even Middle East Africa and the European countries through the Thailand. This added capacities give a game-changing leap for emerging economies from both bandwidth and the latency perspectives. China Telecom's infrastructure allows the economies to advance and embrace increasingly bandwidth-intensive applications, which are being driven by technological advancements, thus supporting the further development of this region. And in addition, in addition to our abundant resources, and we have also de developed an end-to-end -end integrated platform to help enterprises fully capitalize on the networks and the clouds. The original network, cloud and the DSD products will offer four key features in the platform. The first one is about the multi-cloud management platform. We have the global coverage of more than 170 nodes and connect to the multiple cloud service providers like Ali, Cloud, AWS, Azure, uh, eSurfing, Cloud, and our Cloud. The second one is for the SDN management platform. China Telecom Global have built up 52 global pubs in different countries. And we have built more than 400 customer sites. And the customers can use our platform to our online ordering, the faster deployment, the billing services, through the one-stop shopping to help them to uh, get the business growing. And security-wise, our cloud security operation centers platform equips business with uh, security nodes and the uh, integrated asset management system. Provide 24 by 7 suite monitoring and security scanning. And our eCloud Express platform connect 19 Express Connect nodes that include the across the board between China and outside China. The cloud connect and end-to-end -end higher speed in the connections can be provided in this platform. So with this platform, customers can make full use of a network and cloud capabilities. Building the next generation of marine cable system, in today's world, digital infrastructures will underpin enterprises' success. It's time for you to modernize the digital infrastructure with a trusted partner. At China Telecom, we offer you world-class connectivity with our extensive global networks. We also unleash new opportunities with our robust cloud capabilities and empower your digital future with diverse IDC offering. With China Telecom, enterprises can own, not only achieve seamless, secure, smart connectivity. More significantly, enterprises will be able to leverage our full suite of cloud and DSD products. So they can build agile and dynamic dynamic digital infrastructure to get them to stay ahead of the game. Looking ahead, we will continue to build the next generation of sea cable system to uh, transform the digital future. We believe in the power of technologies with the seamless integrations of networks and clouds. We, ex we expect to see more resilient and affordable cables in the near future. Moving forward, China Telecom will replace the old subsea cables with the net generation subsea cable systems. This will help us to improve our offering and we will also IO the hyperscale cloud regions to uh, support the growing cloud demands to offer more seamless coverage 
We will also continue connecting remote inland areas and building more comprehensive cable systems. We will work hand, hand in hand with industry leaders and partners to expand our ecosystem and to further advance our development in this field. We will continue to leverage AI and other emerging technologies to build smart networks. And together with you, in the next 10 years, we will be building over 10 new cables across the world. I think with our expanding networks and capabilities, we are dedicated to delivery. We were delivering a hyper-connected, intelligent, and a secure future for all of you to power your business. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Donald. That was incredibly interesting. Um, just one thing that you just said about building 10 cables in 10 years. Um, obviously, that's, that's, that's very ambitious and that's, that's excellent to hear and obviously representing such a powerhouse as China and, and, and a massive population um, that is there. Um, you know, looking, at, looking at sort of outside of China and looking at these 10 cables, um, what sort of regions will be your, your key focus in the, in the coming years? Okay, thanks, to, uh, Aaron, for your question. And you know that according to uh, my presentation just now, and we commit to um, connecting business and people to anywhere well, the desire. Uh, particularly, we are seeing growing demands from the build and load initial countries and the uh, maritime Silk Road countries. So we, our business will focus on the Asia countries like um, Indonesia, Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, in this kind of the region, you know, we have lots of business over there and we want to connect them more to provide our customers seamless connections. And another focus will be in Africa. More and more Chinese enterprises doing the business over there and they have developed their business and uh, uh, we will leverage our capability to, um, to uh, partner with our uh, player, the other players to deploy our capability and uh, uh, resources in the Africa, in these countries. In other focus, we will be in the traffic flowing from Asia to Europe. As you know, the geopolitical uh, environment changed a lot. And we will focus on the Asia to the Europe direction for the cross the different countries. And we can see more and more IP traffic flowing in this direction. So I think we will invest more heavily in this route. Thanks, Adam. And just just another another quick question for you, um, you know, cloud and network sort of, you know, sort of fusion is, you know, is currently, you know, shaping the future of submarine cables. How do you see that continuing? Uh, I think the cloud and the uh, network fusion will continue to shape this um, industry. Uh, we all have the very outstanding result in this industry. Firstly, I think the technology, of course, the 400 gigabit and the 32 fiber pails and the open cables model will be uh, emerged and will be development. The second one, I think the investors, not just only the carriers, the OTTs, and I think lots of the funds and the private investment will be in this industry to accordment accommodate the needs of the customer. The third one, I think, and uh, we are focused on the more centralized in some uh, data centers, hyperscale data center connections, especially for very, very the big uh, traffic generators. The first one, I think, for the multiple routes, for the redundancy and the resilience and the security, of this industry will be more key elements to ask us to provide more. 
resources in this, in this industry. Thanks, Adam. Thank you very much. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, everybody, for listening in and watching. Um, I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, Johnny, who will be um, presenting the building cables on every continent panel to follow up. Thank you so much, everybody. All the best. Thank you, everybody.